performing a Google Analytics audit with Screaming Frog. So now we're going to use Screaming Frog's filters to essentially audit our website to make sure that Google Analytics is installed on all the pages. Now you can certainly accomplish this in a similar way by looking at Google Analytics, but um, this is just another way to do it. So what we're going to do first is go to Configuration, Custom, and Search. I'm going to set two filters. The first is we want to see every page that contains our code. We also want to see every page that does not contain our code. So we have two different filters here. I'm going to say OK, and we're going to set the Screaming Frog crawler loose. And as a reminder, what's happening now is Screaming Frog is searching for through all the page code, essentially looking for that particular account number and will return back the results to us here in the custom tab. So in the custom tab, um, we can start by looking at all the pages which contain this code. And what we really want to look at are the number of occurrences. You know, sometimes Google Analytics gets double installed for whatever reason. Uh, maybe it's in two include files or maybe a plugin's being used, but a developer also put it within the uh, footer or something. So we just want to make sure that there's one occurrence on each page. And that's what this first filter was for, which we see. The other filter that does not contain it, these would, this would show us all the pages which do not contain the Google Analytics code for our specific account. And we see that there are none there. So we passed both tests. It looks like the Google Analytics code uh, is presumably on all pages um, and is not missing. So uh, the next step, what we want to do as well, uh, we're going to first clear these filters. So we want to start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the site. Now what we're going to do is we're going to ask Screaming Frog to audit the site and return any other Google Analytics accounts that might be installed. So we see this a lot with clients where maybe the, the, the website management is passed from company to company and a new company maybe installed a new Google Analytics account and never removed the old. Um, it's completely common so uh, there's a way to detect that and we're going to use this extraction tool with Screaming Frog. So we're going to go to configuration custom and then extraction and essentially what we're going to do is set up a sort of regex statement that's going to search for google analytics code and return all the accounts which appear on the site so um, in the field in the left here you can call it whatever you want this is what's going to appear as in the report i'm just going to call it the gauaid and then there's a regex statement and we have some other ones within the course notes which will make you know life a little easier um, which is basically going to say, uh, you know, anytime you see this pattern for the UA code, tell us what that code is, and we're just going to make sure that it's for our particular um, account. So in situations where maybe, uh, you know, two or three different accounts were installed, we'd see what the other ones are, and we'd know that there's a problem to resolve. So I've got that input there. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the crawler loose. So again, now Screaming Frog is going through all of the content and essentially looking for UA codes and returning them back to us what the value is. So the filter we're going to set here is for our extraction. And again, we're in the custom tab. I apologize. We'll go to extraction. And what you're going to see then is for each URL, um, this is what we named the field, G-A-U-A-I-D, we get what comes back. So a simple scroll down is going to give us confidence that only one Google Analytics account is installed on each page. And our previous searches told us that our particular code was installed on every page. So we know that nothing is missing. So this is a quick way to do a Google Analytics audit. Um, you know, maybe if you don't have access to the Analytics account, you just want to make sure that the developers implemented it correctly. Or if it was your first time implementing it, you're not sure. You know, it's a good thing to check up on. Um, hope this helps uh, solve your Google Analytics problems.